Here it is. The new um, terminal. Yes. JNR Swoogle's home base out in New Orleans, Minnesota. Just got finished dropping the uh, empty over in the empty spot over there. Picked up my load that my man hooked me up on. And I'm taking that down to Ted Says. Hopefully it's a good run down there. I'm thinking about taking 35. I really haven't did my uh, trip planning yet. But as soon as I get back in the truck, I will do that. But I want to talk to you guys about something that's kind of important. So give me a minute and I'll talk about it. A very bizarre sight. I've never seen anything like that. It's crazy. That made many do a double take. Had to start asking questions. What the heck's going on here? An 18,000 pound tractor trailer that got stuck on the wooden way early this morning after driving nearly the entire length of the city's boardwalk. The truck way too big to then get off. The driver uh, in his words made a wrong turn. Police believe the big rig came onto the boardwalk here on Albany Avenue in Atlantic City. It kept rolling that way into Ventnor, traveling a total of about two and a half miles. We thought, well, maybe their GPS told them to go the wrong way. How'd this happen? No comment. Why'd you drive on the boardwalk? No, no comment, please. Ventnor Public Works crews busy for more than three hours dismantling boardwalk railings, piling up sand, and putting down planks to successfully create a wider exit. First for the cab, then the trailer with the help of a towing company. The driver, whose destination was unclear, being ticketed. He was uh, not to our knowledge drunk or under the influence. Uh, just a bad judgment call that he uh, he let get carried away. Authorities say the 18-wheeler left no visible damage in its wake. A structural engineer will check to be sure. In Ventnor, a tractor trailer took a wrong turn. The vehicle got stuck on the boardwalk. Workers spent the morning removing benches and railings. The cab was driven off the boardwalk first, then a tow truck removed the trailer. The driver was not intoxicated, but was issued a couple of summonses. Engineers were checking to see if that truck caused any structural damage. This scene looks really bad now, but it was even worse at around 4.30 Friday morning. I heard a loud boom, and then I saw some lights, and I set up, and as silly as this sounds, I thought maybe it was a thunderstorm. No storm, but a whirlwind of debris now litters the parking lot of Regency Parkway Apartments near 103rd and Pacific. Because the, the man did all this and then drove away. Omaha police later spotted the truck near 105th and Center and chased it to 108th and Grover before the driver stopped. The trailer of the Fairway Food Semi had a large gash along the driver's side and the driver, 40-year-old Courtney Williams, was taken into custody. Let's get these bastards. It is late. I am a little bit tired. Feeling a little bit better. Still got a little tweak in my throat. But all in all, it's been an epic day today. So my next load is going down to Texas. Then I will be on recaps to come back up to Ohio. So I'm not sure how next week is going to play. If my throat don't become better by next week or by next Monday, Monday, and yeah, I'm gonna have to go on for that weekend and go on over to clean the clinic. What I wanted to talk to you guys about when I when I said I was coming in here. What, what I want what I want to talk about is I don't want to sound too mean with it, but I always say you gotta stay focused out here when you're driving. So what, what I want to say, bonehead, inexperience. Um, I don't know. I don't know. 
I came across this article about this driver, and it's way too many drivers out here, new drivers. All right, now I know the old schoolers know a little better, and I know some of the advanced knows a little better, but these are for like new drivers that's now coming out on the road after you know after being trained by somebody that's supposed to be experienced I, I don't know so this driver in New Jersey crest driver C S C R S T and this is the second one by the way the first one I'll put it in the link uh, but this is the second one he drove on the boardwalk. I mean, literally, big 18-wheeler truck, tractor and trailer on the boardwalk. Now he goes to say when when he he didn't know that he was driving on the boardwalk. He drove about three miles on the boardwalk. Can y'all believe that? Three miles. So obviously, he must have been driving knowing that something is wrong. So he got, he obviously he got stopped. You know, the, the cops had to stop him. How did you manage to get the truck on a boardwalk? He goes to tell them, oh, well, I followed my GPS. Drivers, let me tell you, all right? For you new drivers out there that's coming into the game, the first thing that you want to do, and I know it's a little bit expensive, but you're going to have to invest in a truck-specific GPS, all right? Don't get the car GPS. Don't get Google Maps. Well, get Google Maps. But don't get a car specific GPS. Because with a car specific GPS is gonna fuck you up. Literally. I mean, pay attention, alright? Even 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 the GPS tells you to go this route right here. Common sense should have told you that there's something the matter with this route. This don't look right. Okay? Don't go that way. Pull over and figure it out. Map it out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say use the um, Atlas. And I agree with that. All right, use the Atlas, especially if you get in a <clears throat> in a bind or something like that, and you don't have a truck specific GPS, but you want to use a car GPS, use the Atlas, because that would have told you that where you was at, you shouldn't have been at. Let me tell you something about driving. When you drive it, all right, don't let the traffic dictate the way you're going you feel me and, and what I mean by that is if you need to get over then you need to get over you gotta make your way over sometimes the traffic ain't gonna give you that respect so you're gonna have to take it you're gonna have to take it you feel me if you need to get in the left lane you're gonna have to inch over and let them know that you're coming over in the left lane. You're the professional driver. You see what I'm saying? You is the one that's dictating where you're going. If you need to be in the lane, an upcoming lane, be in that lane about three miles back. Okay? If you need to get to the off-ramp and it's coming up in two miles, be in that lane four miles back. You see what I'm saying? Be 
in the lane that you're supposed to be in so there won't be no problems when you come up to the exit. Okay? I know you new drivers out here. I'm, it's exciting, it's scary, and, and most importantly, it's, it's, it could be frustrating at times, all right? But you got common sense. Use that. Don't just use the GPS, all right? I got a Ram at night, 730. I brought that the first day I started driving, or the first day that I got in the truck. I went and spent $400 never gotten any trouble with it all right i keep it updated I, I i keep it clean and i'm i'm still thinking about getting the new one but i don't have no problems with this one i use that in conjunction with google maps all right so that it keep me on the straight and narrow all right i use when i trip plan i use the atlas all right now Things change. Uh, road conditions, slowdowns, accidents, road closures. That's where the Google Map comes into play. It usually it usually lets me know uh, if there's a situation about to happen a couple of miles down the road. Buy you guys or invest. And it is a good investment, all right? Invest in a truck-specific GPS, all right? Now, I can't guarantee you if you're gonna keep you out of trouble, but I can guarantee you it will keep you off the boardwalk, okay? Look, man, I feel you guys. And I'm glad that you guys is driving, but don't get out there and get cocky, you know? He gonna turn the driver gonna turn around and got cocky. Didn't even get the police any in, 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 They didn't get the police nothing. Only thing he said, well, so what? And just drove off. You know. So of course he's gonna get tickets, fines. His company is gonna pay for the damage. And by all means, get a truck specific GPS. That's it, man. That's all I got to say. I got my next load about to head down to Texas. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it!